So, Eric, what are your thoughts on the concept of control? Oh, I love <laughs> control. <laughs> right? I, no, it's just fantastic. No, we, um, you know, I, one of the things I was talking about in, in our presentation was um, the, the end of control. And, uh, you know, the old model of the music industry is very much based on control, um, tight control over the music that gets uh, made, and then control over everything from marketing to distribution, and even to some extent control over um, uh, things that were supposed to be um, extraneous, like radio. So you built a whole machine of control that you believe that you can monetize control. Um, now, with uh, disruptive technology that has come out, um, that's no longer an option. And people are uh, consuming music that they want to listen to on platforms they want to listen to it on. So for us, um, our goal is to go directly to the demand, which is people who love music listening to what they want, when they want, and how they want. And build, and like I said earlier, just build something that appeals to that. And I believe that um, you know it, it would make a whole lot of sense for the rest of the industry to get involved in actually seeing what music lovers love, and and uh, you know. Listen, not listening to consumers. Just listening to consumers, because in any other industry um, across you know the entire spectrum, um, it's just not okay to just not listen to your consumer. Um, so it's, so now you know after everything that has happened in the music industry and uh, the economic challenges it, it faces, we're um, you know it doesn't make sense anymore to not listen to your consumer.